This is pretty big news. Pudgy Penguins just announced that they are purchasing an L2 blockchain ecosystem called Frames. The current meta and movement is top NFT project launching their own L2s to L3s. Most notable, of course, is Board Ape, where their Ape Point is launching Ape Chain. Pudgy Penguins, as we just announced, has acquired Frames, but renaming it to Abstract Chain. And lastly, Azuki, one of the most successful projects out from 2021, is launching their own anime chain. Luca Nets, the owner of Pudgy Penguins, is doing everything right, it seems, launching into Target, Walmart, and Amazon stores. The price since this announcement has jumped Pudgy Penguin 20 to 30%. Azuki Anime Chain is looking to get into the world of anime. Ape Chain is looking to get into gaming world, and looks like Abstract is looking to get into consumers. What consumer crypto is, I don't know, but it says pioneering culture, community, and creativity on chain. And yes, if you had to guess, they're probably launching their own pudgy token or igloo token, whatever it's called. This is what speculators are probably most excited about. But how it fits inside the ecosystem with everything they got in physical stores, online stores, and gaming is yet to be seen. But I'm excited for what Pudgy is doing. And other big news, Animoca Brands has officially partnered up with Futureverse. Futureverse, if you didn't know, had exclusive rights to Ready Player One or Warner Brothers, amongst many other IP. Unlike the competitor Unreal Engine, which focuses on Web3 gaming, Futureverse focuses on AI with the metaverse. We're talking Roblox, we're talking Minecraft. If you got kids that love to create, this could be the space for them to play in Web3. But unlike Web2, all the energy and time spent into these Web3 games could yield better results. AKA monetization and ownership, which means money. Although the markets are bobbing and weaving, we have some pretty exciting developments. Right now, Circle, which is in charge of the USDC stablecoin, is launching the first ever global stablecoin, and they're starting with the EU. The EU and many other countries actually have regulatory framework on how to manage digital assets. They call this markets and crypto assets called MICA. This is great news because it provides transparency on a global scale, likes of which we have never seen before. This is bullish news for not only crypto, but for also Web3 gaming, investing into NFTs, Rising tides raise all ships. The progress that we've been waiting for since 2017, 2021 NFT boom is all happening right now. And there's massive opportunities for anyone who wants to be a part of Web3. If you want to learn how to get ahead, click on my link down below because I talk every single week with my private community every NFT Web3 trade that I'm making. Nonetheless, if you love Web3, NFTs, crypto, blockchain news, then follow along because we got three market updates weekly. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.